When the function switch is turned to BOM, the film runs through the reading mechanism automatically and in synchronism with it, a travelling carriage sets up a mechanical matrix in accordance with the required switch settings. The action shown here has been considerably slowed down. The information is then punched in to the switch contacts, thus synthesizing time lag and trail for the bomb to be released from the aircraft at the relevant height and airspeed. If either height or airspeed change to another zone, the film is scanned again to reset certain of the switches for the new flight conditions. We have now seen how forward throw and cross trail are calculated in NBS. If the markers have been set on a target, the aircraft must next be turned until cross range is equal to cross trail. It will then track down the correct path to the release point. This is done by feeding the algebraic difference between cross range and cross trail to the steering circuits so that when the pilot's meter is on zero, the two are equal. Track range, which is being calculated continuously by the steering circuits, is compared with a calculated forward throw. Their difference, which is the distance to go to the release point, is displayed to the pilot on the lower needle of his directional indicator. When it reduces to a predetermined figure, the bomb doors are opened, and when it becomes zero, the bombs are released automatically. 